Hello girls, here it is, the second part, the, the, the fun part, right? How to train your pendulum, how you can finally be able to use it, right? In a good way, in a healthy and safe way. So before I continue, I want to add something that I didn't talk about in the in the last video, is that if you want to use the full moon, then you're gonna clean your pendulum as you clean any stone, okay? I have other videos, I'm gonna be posting them later, and how you're gonna be like uh, cleansing your pe uh, your stones with the full moon and everything like that. Uh, so, if not, let me know, I'm gonna be write it down just in case, okay, sweetie? So, let's say that you do everything, you did everything, you clean your pendulum with the smudge, uh, technique or maybe you receive a one from mine so you don't have to do it you charge your pendulum or recharge your pendulum okay so now no matter that I have another video I wanted to do this um, so we can do uh, a plenty of other, other things as well so <clears throat> now you have your pendulum remember this is mine so because he's already trained and behave I'm gonna be using first if this is your first time using pendulums, you want to put your elbow in a in a flat um, base, maybe a table or I don't know your drawers, whatever. It have a, a flat place or surface. Put your elbow so that way you're gonna make sure that you are not moving your hand or you are not um, interfering with the movement. The other thing because the pendulum is have to get used to your energy. You recharge, you already choose the pendulum for your end, for the energy and, the, and the, the pendulum kind of choose you. It's still, that pendulum is still getting used to your energy. It's still in how you work with it. So what you're gonna do, always put your hand in the bottom of the pendulum like this, and you're just gonna tell him, please, can you read my energy? You're just gonna let it move, just like that. Um, my, I don't know what is going on. He's behaving not that well, but basically that's the way. You're gonna ask to move. I think that I have it too close. There you go. It was too close for it to move. So this is how he's reading my energy. Okay, I'm saying yes because it was too close to my energy. <laughs> So you have to work with your distance. Sometimes I have a lot of energy and I have to, to have it like this. Sometimes I don't have a lot of energy, as you know, because of the reading. So I have to have it more close. But most of the time it's going to be in a really kind of a good distance, see? And you're just going to wait for that pendulum to start moving when it's the right distance for you. So that is the first step. Always do that. When the pendulum starts reading your energy that you have the, the perfect distance, you're gonna ask to know how the pendulum, remember you are training the pendulum, but the, the pendulum needs to tell you how to say yes. You're not gonna tell him how to do it. This, this don't work like that. I don't care what people says. You train your pendulum, allowing them to tell you. It's gonna be more easy. And it's gonna be something, it's gonna be something that's gonna be always the same. After the pendulum show you a couple of times how the pendulum express or talk, you're not gonna need to do something else in that area. It's always gonna be the same an, um, answer for yes, the same wait for no, etc., etc. So, by example, this is the way. Tell me how you say yes. See, mine always say up and down. It's always that. It don't change. Yes, it's always like that. When you see that it's moving this strong, this way, it's a strong yes, it's something. It could be, can you show a soft yes, please? See? Because it's already trained, I can give the orders, but I have to ask first. So see, it's a stop, but it's kind of like this. It's really softly, but if I want to know, but that is something that you will know, how your pendulum act. But I want to give you an idea. But remember, the question that you're gonna be doing, nothing else, how you say yes. 
and it's supposed to move in a really a strong way if your energy and the pendulum are synchronized. Stop. Give a time. It's going to stop in, in any moment. See? Then you're going to say, can you tell me how you say no? See? Mine is side by side. It's always been like that. This is the way that I always say no for me. Right now it's a soft no, but it could be really a strong no. It could be like boom, boom, that way. Who knows who has been seeing me doing reading with this? Know what I mean. Let's see. Maybe this. Maybe my energy is not synchronizing well. This is a new one. So let's see if it is really my energy right now. There you go, stop. Say yes. See? Can you say no? Now it's gonna transition and start saying no. See? That's the way that it is, and it's gonna be that way with any pendulum. After you talk, and every pendulum is gonna be saying the same way. This, you need to do it a couple of times a day. Uh, a day, no, during the week, twice or three times a week, always asking, say yes, say no. Um, another way that you can train your pendulum, can you say how you read positive energy? See? This is the way. My pendulum tell me when I am reading positive energies around me. And then, stop. Tell me how you say, uh, how you read negative energy and there you go is going um towards the, the 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 clock kind of thing so that is the way that my pendulum talk when it's a maybe for me my pendulum just go back and forward like going yes no yes and no kind of crazy but maybe for you maybe it's just like getting uh, kind of like start, um not moving, but just doing like this, like shaking. Uh, when the pendulum, you ask a question and don't move, stay that like that, you can ask two more times. If the pendulum don't give you the answer by the third time that you ask, you ask the first time, you ask the second time, and the third time, the pendulum is still not answering you, that is not moving at all, leave the question that means that it's not for you to know the answer because you can affect the results or you can avoid some kind of lesson and then it's gonna get worse for you okay they it's not that they want a secrecy with you it's not about secrets sometimes if we need a, if we know everything or we try to know everything we can make our life more difficult and uh, in intervene or affect it in a bad negative way okay sweetie after you know how your pendulum is working with you then you can use it to communicate with the spirit ask him um, is my my son with me yes or no i don't really tell you to do this um all of the time because you don't want to get, because right, um, it could be some, if you are not aware of the kind of spirit that, uh, or you don't have a, 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 how to recognize when your loved one is with you, you can be opening like a Ouija, okay? So that's why. Now, I don't care what people say. This is still is an instrument that you can be opening for uh, most of the time. Pendulums work with your energy, nothing else, but the spirit connect through your energy and they can affect the pendulum. So if, by example, you know how your son, your loved one, your uh, husband, your fiance, your grandma, your mom feels without the pendulum. You are someone that you already have a connection with a loved one and you know how that loved one feels around you. Then I tell you do that. If not, 
I will tell you that just way a little bit ahead that we're going to be doing classes of connection, how to know, how to recognize with it's a spirit guide, when it's a loved one, et cetera, et cetera. I promise I'm going to be doing those kind of close uh, classes later, maybe one or two months more. I want each one of you to be really, really a strength, a really, really strong with your abilities or how to recognize your abilities so you can have that kind of connections and the, the proper protections and everything that you're going to be using. Okay, sweeties? So this is the way that you're going to be doing it. Um, please, before to work with your pendulum, you need to protect yourself. You need to do a protection around you. I always, besides my stones that they are always with me and my kind of talisman, um, I always ask my spirit guide, my angels, to protect me. But not just that, I always imagine and surround myself with a lot of light. In my case, I create this shield, um, like um, a Star Trek shield, you know, an invisible one, but no one, nothing can enter. That's the one that I choose. But it's a lot of other tool protections. I'm going to try to write about them. So you have it with you. Um, uh, I think that I have it in my website. I'm going to be posting about it. And you choose the one that is better for you. Before, you always work with the stones, with the spirit, meditation, pendulum, tarot card. You always want to protect yourself. So I'm going to be posting the information. And then I'm going to be teaching you how to do it too. But... Is something that you want to surround yourself okay sweeties so this is the way that you're gonna be training your pendulum this is the way that you're gonna be working with it please give yourself time um, when you start making readings you're gonna make one question that you know the answer always a specific yes or no question um, example I'm going to buy a new car I'm going to change job you don't gonna be like in three months um, I'm going to be changing jobs for something better. No. You have to concentrate, like capsule, or like uh, make it short and direct. So first, I'm going to be changing jobs. Yes. That job is going to be, uh, that changing is going to be happening one week or one month, two months. And that way you will know. You're going to, because you ask three months, it says yes, but then you ask one month and it says yes. You know, so you're going to kind of help the pendulum because it's going to tell you yes at three months and yes and two and one month because but already by the third month, you already have a new job, no matter what. You already have that that job with you. So you want to be specific and give short periods of time. You want to allow the energy to really be close to the, the real time, the real uh, way that it's going to be. Okay, sweeties, that's one of the things. Um, let's see, what else? Sometimes it's giving you answers, like, I, I don't know, it's saying yes for something, right? I just always allow the pendulum to keep moving for a couple of seconds, maybe one minute, and allow my other abilities to show. It's not just the, what the pendulum is saying, now I'm using my other abilities to see, hear, feel, whatever it is yours. That's why I'm being giving you the classes and taking the time for you to know how to deal with your abilities or how to recognize, okay, sweetie? Because the pendulum, it don't have to be yes or no only. Sometimes it's yes, it's gonna be just yes and no, maybe, good or positive. But other times are going to be, you're gonna be able to receive something else, okay? Um, that's another thing. Um, if you have the mini ones, the ones that I have that are mini, see, they're really small. They're beautiful. I like it because it's kind of pocket size. So this is something that you can even have in your pocket and be going to anywhere. And even using as a protection for you, right? So, by example, you are in, a, in your job, you are in a house, you are in a place, and you feel this uh, atmosphere, you can use your pendulum to read. Maybe you get to this house and, oh my God, I feel something is wrong. I feel something is heavy. I don't know what it is. I, I don't feel comfortable. And you have this kind of anxiety. 
go to a place that maybe no one if no one believe right or if you are open and the people in there are open then you can do it in there but just go to a place that you can kind of center yourself okay pendulum read the energy of the room and it is in my case positive it's always kind of clockwise like now so it's gonna read it and you can go slowly like for each part of the house or the place and just read it go and see what it's saying <laughs> it's going crazy this one um but see and in this one there is more but work it's like <laughs> even better than the big ones <laughs> um but that's the way that you're gonna be doing it that's the way that um you wanna know if it starts reading negative then you know that something is there and then you can ask questions is maybe bad energy there is spirit uh, bad spirit remember always have your protection always if you are not protected and you don't have your quarts and you don't have your um visualization of protection don't do that um but yes that's the way that you're gonna be doing this um i'm trying just to tell you a uh, another way to do it I'm going to be doing a live soon. I just want that, yeah, I hope that each one of you have your own pendulum uh, because that way we can do it. You can do it meanwhile we are practicing. And I'm going to try to kind of uh, expand the energy to each one of you so you can receive the answers too. Or you can do it by yourself. But I want to be more active or more interactive kind of way. So you're going to have, I'm going to teach you how to connect. Um, we're going to do the preparation, the proper preparation to connect with the spirits or at least with um, a spirit guides. And I'm going to be connecting with loved ones. A spirit guide always protect and they're more easy to connect right now with each one of you. Um, and then I'm going to be teaching you how to um, work with your pendulum. Okay, sweeties? I hope that this video helped you. In the next video that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be teaching you how to use your pendulum to work with your chakras. Hmm? Okay, series. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching me. I hope that this video is really helpful for each one of you. Again, if you have any questions, any doubt, please comment. Uh, as many times as you want, as many times as you need. Uh, do it in the chat room too. Whatever it makes you feel better, do it. And I'm going to be helping you to uh, get your pendulum uh, more synchronized and synchronized with you. Okay, series. Bye-bye.